Most home fires start right here in the kitchen, and while they may begin small, they can get large very quickly. That's why it's a good idea to keep a fire extinguisher somewhere in this room. Now this is fairly typical of the kind of fire extinguisher you'd want to have at a kitchen. The only problem is it's not particularly attractive and it's rather large and sometimes it's difficult to have this close at hand. So with that in mind, First Alert has come out with a fire suppressant in an aerosol can. I want to find out how well this works. I'm simulating a grease fire using mineral spirits ignited in a frying pan. Here the fire is contained just to the pan. In this test, I've allowed the fire to get larger, spreading onto the stovetop. Now, as with any fire extinguisher or suppressant, I want to make sure I aim at the base of the fire. First Alert recommends using the aerosol from a distance of three or four feet. In this final version of our non-scientific trial, the fire has engulfed the stovetop and is beginning to spread to the wall behind. It's important to sweep the suppressant back and forth across the base of the flames and get gradually closer as the fire diminishes. All in all, the suppressant performs fairly well. Now the choice as to whether or not to use a fire suppressant or extinguisher is an individual one. Your first priority should always be to get your family safely out of the house and call 911. But a couple of important points about extinguishers. Never place them near where a fire might start. You don't want to be reaching toward the flames to get your hands on one of these. This might be a good storage place up here, close at hand but not close to where the fire might start. And secondly, always leave yourself a clear escape route, just in case your efforts at putting the fire out are unsuccessful.